it's long been known that increasing fetal hemoglobin is uh, clinically effective in sickle cell patients to reduce the severity of disease. And this is um, a way to sort of um, harness the endogenous globin switch that naturally occurs. So patients who are young make high levels of fetal hemoglobin. As they get older, they make low levels. And we are aiming through gene therapy to flip that switch back to increasing the levels of fetal hemoglobin. This is a lentiviral vector that contains an SH or short hairpin RNA that targets BCL11A and knocks down expression of BCL11A through RNA interference. Um, and the lentiviral vector um, has been designed to be erythroid specific so that BCL11A is only knocked down in the red cell lineage, not in other cell types where it could um, show off-target toxicity. So we've treated one patient um, at, just over six months ago, and he's done very well. Um, so prior to gene therapy, he was receiving monthly transfusions due to a prior stroke. And since gene therapy, um, his last transfusion was 12 days after gene therapy during the, before he grafted as expected during transplant recovery. And since then, he's had no transfusions, his hemoglobin level is normal, and he's completely asymptomatic. Our study is, is two years in duration, but then patients will be enrolled in a long-term follow-up study to follow particularly safety outcomes for 15 years, as with all gene therapy studies.